It's Health Wednesday now, and we continue our conversation from last week about autoimmune diseases during this awareness month, with 80% of those affected being women. And Dr. Rebecca Hosey, a local physician assistant and chiropractor, is also a patient impacted by a common autoimmune condition that turned her world upside down. She was just on Capitol Hill last week advocating for others in need of help, pushing for new legislation to support better treatments and to try to break down barriers to care. She also helped lobby for more funding for the newly created Office of Autoimmune Disease Research, which falls under the National Institutes of Health. She met with Congressman Lulota personally and senior staffers for Congressman Lawler and Senators Chuck Schumer and Kirsten Gillibrand in her efforts. And Dr. Hosey joins us here this morning in our studio to share her story and to shine a light on autoimmune diseases. Dr. Hosey, thanks for coming in. Thank you so much for having me today. Our pleasure. Let's talk first about you personally here because you were diagnosed with Sjogren's disease in 2015, but this was very challenging for you just to even figure out. Tell us about some of the barriers you encountered. Sure, sure. So yes, in 2015, I just turned 37 and I developed very severe symptoms of fatigue, muscle weakness, and joint pain. And I went to the doctor, but unfortunately I was dismissed at my own medical appointments. So I really had to claw and fight every step of the way just to get a diagnosis, which took nearly a year. And I had to go out of the area. Actually, I had to go to the Cleveland Clinic to get officially diagnosed. How did your role as a healthcare provider help you in this role of advocacy as you realized you were having problems? You knew this was certainly affecting many others. Sure, you know, in the middle of this illness that was so severe, I had an epiphany, I realized if I, this healthcare provider, had so much difficulty navigating our health system, then yeah. how are others so that are disadvantaged, much more disadvantaged than myself, how are they functioning? So I really, you know, try to empower patients to um, become their best self-advocates. And before we get into your wonderful trip on Capitol Hill last week, just tell me a little bit more about um, how you're personally affected by Sjogren's disease and why we think at this point that it's affecting so many women, all autoimmune diseases. Sure, you know, Sjogren's specifically, uh, the propensity is 90% uh, for a female, so it's a female dominant wow. disease. Yeah. Um, inside already female dominance, uh, autoimmune, all autoimmune diseases, uh, affect about 80% yeah. for all about 80% female. Um, so yes, there are some uh, recent studies actually that show the deactivation of the second X chromosome. Um, may, there's also a, a molecule called exist that may be uh, also part of this. And, and hormones as well yes, for women may be a reason yes, why we're exactly, affected more. Exactly. So let's talk a little bit about how you're pushing for more funding and just trying to get better treatments, better medicines on Capitol Hill. That was exciting for you, I know. Oh, that was such an honor, really. I was with the Autoimmune Association yep. and I was with about a dozen other patient advocates from all over the country <laughs> and uh, meeting with our constituents um, or staffers. And uh, it was great. I felt like I represented our capital region here, but also my yes. health profession as well as the 50 million Americans suffering from autoimmune disease that couldn't be there. And there's a lot more to go in terms of learning more about autoimmune diseases, but you continue to advocate. We need this advocacy for this. Tell us about the award you received. Oh, what an honor. I am the uh, 2024 Advocate of the Year. Um, the Autoimmune Association again awarded me this Terrific. in a reception last week. And it was such an honor to be um, recognized, for my work to be recognized by this organization who is the world's largest organization for autoimmune disease. And you're writing a book, you call it your memoir, and that's it. Tell me the title again. It's Girl on a Gertie, Trading My White Coat for a Hospital Gown. You have a perspective that many other people don't have. Yes. And so the book is coming out soon. Yes. Yes. You must be excited to share it. It's just another way to spread awareness about this. Exactly. If I can lessen the burden for others, I mean, that's really why I do what I'm doing. What's the most important thing that you want people to know if they think they may have an autoimmune disease? Sure. Talk to their doctor. Yeah. And if you don't get an answer, then get another opinion. Thank you for coming in, Dr. Hosey. We appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for having me of and course. for everything that you do for our community. Very kind of you. Appreciate that. Don't forget, you can always find all of our Women's Health Wednesday segments online. You can go to news10.com and look under the community tab for Women's Health.